I absolutely adore this segment. Pretty good cinematography and the effects and everything. The directing, the scripting, the acting. Very, very nice. Hey yo, what it do? My name is George something, the world heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we are going to be talking about the Wyatt Six, Bo Dallas, and Uncle Howdy. Specifically, this segment right here. I don't want to make a reaction to this because whenever I do a reaction video on WWE clips I've had my experience with the copyright claims and the copyright blockings of WWE you know whenever you use WWE clips they fucking block that video worldwide so what the fuck is the point I ain't gonna react to this shit I'm just gonna talk about this alright so if you haven't watched this, I recommend watching this clip, you know, this highlight. Of course, before this happened, there was this segment with Michael Cole and Nikki Cross doing something, you know, VHS shit. But before I start, I just want to tell everyone to go ahead and join the Hood Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99, it helps the channel, and it helps the cause. Now, if you don't want to join though, that's fine. It's all good in the hood cuz there are options below. Super stickers, super thanks. You know what it is cuz. Help this channel whatever way you can so that we can keep on making videos in the future. Today we are going to be focusing on Bo Dallas and Uncle Howdy. Of course, I didn't watch the full show. I don't have time for that shit, I only watch the highlights. It doesn't interest me to watch an entire show just yet. What's the point of watching the entire show if I'm just gonna watch a couple segments? So this is what happened, I think it's very interesting, so right here, nice smoke effect, and then out comes, uh, what's her name, uh, Nikki Cross, and she's uh, the witch person? in the Firefly Funhouse. She was acting all weird and scary and it's actually pretty creepy. You know, when she showed up, you know, smoke and everything and Chad Gable was acting. Nice acting, by the way. It's a nice segment right here. It's a, I think it's pretty good. You know, they are actually doing something. That's what you need to do in a wrestling show. You need to do something. When you make a debut and you make a character like the Wyatt Six, you need to make them separate from the other factions. Because what's the point of debuting them in a certain way and you're just gonna put them in tag matches? What the fuck? Alright, this is the best way to do it. Just uh, make them creep up on people and then probably eventually have them fight in matches or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of matches fits these characters. Here, Michael Cole. He received the gift from that witch person, Nikki Cross. It's a VHS! Fucking hell, I still remember these VHS tapes. God fucking damn, I'm so fucking old. Look at this guy's reaction, oh my god. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm of this guy. Oh my god, he's living in the moment. Holy shit. And then after that, uh, what's inside the VHS? I like the effects here. You know, the, the glitchy effect. This one right here. Where is it? Can't seem to find... This one right here, that's a cool shot. That is a wonderful shot. Amazing, amazing shot. And then right here, I like the design of the Uncle Howdy mask. Holy shit. And the voice right here, very creepy. I remember I said something where if they are gonna have Uncle Howdy do some promos, they need to have him have some, you know, voice changer shit, right? Don't just let Uncle Howdy talk in a normal Bo Dallas voice. They need to do something, you know, voice changers and shit. And I'm glad they actually did did that here, right? Here we got uh, Bo Dallas. He's starting to look like Bray Wyatt here. 
and i i gotta say right here this segment right here is actually pretty emotional if you've seen bo dallas's acting right here top-notch motherfuckers like holy shit his acting right here very good i actually love how you know bray wyatt's death is connected to the storyline so i think that's pretty interesting they are mixing real life with you know kayfabe storyline shit so i like that it has a sense of reality and a sense of realism or some shit i, I like it i like the connections here and r this this one right here, he looks like Bray Wyatt here. And I really love I really love this entire segment. I absolutely adore this segment. Pretty good cinematography and the effects and everything. The directing, the scripting, the acting. Very, very nice. That's how you make an interesting segment. A you know, an interesting vignette. And I love the part where he said something about uh, they're gonna avenge Bray Wyatt or some shit. I don't know, like, I love that part. They should have added how WWE screwed over Bray Wyatt all those years ago, you know, burying him. You know, John Cena burying Wyatt and all of this other shit, you know, create WWE creative treating bray wyatt like shit what we got already good enough can aew do this and they i doubt aew can pull off something like this because all aew gives a shit about is matches 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 that's all aew and tony khan give a shit about that's all they give a shit about that is why aew is losing viewers and ratings because there's nothing to aew it's just matches 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 no storylines no substance it's just shit what are your thoughts on all of this did you watch an entire episode of raw i applaud you how <laughs> how can you do that <laughs> How did you manage to watch an entire episode, an entire three-hour episode of Raw? How can you do that shit? Holy shit, I applaud you, I salute you, young soldier. How, how, did, you, uh, how did you manage to soldier through a three-hour boring Raw just to watch a couple of good segments? Also, I just want to add this. All of a sudden, WWE feels like must-watch television every single week not that much only a few segments i wouldn't say must watch television i would argue must watch selected segments or must watch selected parts of raw not the entire show but only selected parts right they're really doing a great job with storylines and angles that hook you in yeah, I would argue that as well. Not all, but, you know, some of them do. You think, well, fuck, now I have to tune in next week to see what's going to happen. Or maybe just watch the, the thing on social media. <laughs> watch the clip on social media. What are the Wyatt Six going to do next? What are Drew and Punk going to do to each other next? What about Liv and the Judgment Day? Yeah, Liv Morgan and the Judgment Day. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> It's actually a pretty cool angle, you know, Liv Morgan trying to seduce Dominic Mysterio. It's actually very funny. What about the Bloodline and Cody? Don't give a shit about Cody, he's boring, but the Bloodline? Don't mind if I do. Whose ass is Braun Breaker going to kick next? Yeah, for real. The show kicks ass right now. Some parts, yes. Other parts, very boring. I usually skip, you know, when I watch the clips online, I usually skip a bunch of shit. So the entirety of Raw, not really interesting, to be honest, but, you know, some of it, yeah, cool. I really hope, like, whenever they move to Netflix, you know, WWE Netflix, I really hope they focus more on storyline and build-ups and segments, and then leave the wrestling to the pay-per-views all right Th that's what it was during the attitude era anyway what are your thoughts on all of this put it in the comments below and let me know 
Join the Hood Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't nothing if it's from George something. I, the YWC World Heavyweight Champ, has got a head out.